Hey guys, welcome to Stoneheart with me, Banto. So today we're gonna continue with uh, my little town here, and we want to create another house for our people. So currently we have four beds in total. One is uh, bugged in this house, it's supposed to be three beds, but the one is bugging out for some reason. So we're gonna try to get three more beds since we have seven people in this town so far, that is. So, we should make a new house, and I would warn a few people if you're gonna play this game in the current state of the game. If you place a roof, go with that roof. If you go and place a roof and you use this tool, undo, you might screw it up and get a lot of bugs. I did try this before I was recording and it basically gave me errors all over the place and placed random blocks and things. So, keep that in mind if you're playing this game, try to not like uh, undo what you just did with the roof at least so there's a lot of new buggy things with the desolators version but uh, at the same time the construction things how you make things changed a lot so it's kind of understandable as well so this house is gonna be for we can try to make this free people so we need to have floor, which we made, and we're like, going over brown walls, and we need to have a door, of course, so people can actually enter and exit this house. And we should also have some window frames, so it can look pretty nice. And where should we have? Okay, we gotta have two windows at this side as well. And what I think is important with this is try not to keep these too close to the borders, because if I put it like this, it's not going to look very good with curtains. So try to have uh, at least two blocks between things. I try to, it's not always that I get it, but I try. So we should also have a roof, of course, we're going to go for brown roof. We can, however, change this without getting issues, but if we would do an undo here, it would just be troublesome. One thing you could do, which didn't work for me, is to try to remove it and start all over, <laughs> but that didn't work for me, uh, uh, so yeah, skip that one. And we need to have some furniture in this one, of course, so we gotta have beds. So we're gonna place some inside this, okay, wait a moment, that's where they enter, so we're gonna have beds at this side. And this is one thing that I do not like with the, the current state of the game, how it is. It's definitely going to change over time. But as you see, I can select my different furnitures here, but... Um, maybe I want to have... Okay, this time it seems to work. Because you can only see the things that you do have. But for some reason, this time I could actually select this one. I think the best way to have this would be that... Things that you have discovered, that you have been able to craft, that you have crafted once, or at least can craft. We have uh, crafted on non-purpose, with this uh, thing that pops up when a crafter is getting... Yeah, like experiment to get something different. I think that will be way better, and I think it's gonna change over time. This is like the first build with uh, this new thing that you place down furniture, and make the houses. So that's gonna be good. We're gonna have a dining table, two chairs, one table, three beds. We should have some light source, at least one inside. And we're gonna have some light source outside as well. Not gonna have any curtains in this one, not to start out with at least, since uh, we haven't made any yet. So I think we should start to build this house. So should we get some more in this? Maybe we should get some. Should we get this too? Yeah, let's do that. And a share for that one. Hopefully it's gonna look pretty good. So that's done with that house and they can start build it. So we're gonna see what's going on here with uh, the weaver. It seems like something is going on. I think we might have too little stockpile for this. So we're gonna expand our stockpile just a little bit to make a new one. Um, I guess we could... Um, let's put it here. And we're gonna have everything there, so basically we just have all of our stuff stored at about the same place. But in the future we're gonna have like separate houses for different things. So trying to keep some resources at one house and some other at another house. And maybe even have a weaver's house and a carpenter's house and have the appropriate resources for those two different classes so they can work out with their profession to the best. And make it look pretty good. 
it's not always when you play this game that I think that you should like, I'm just gonna care for it to be superior or super good. It's nice to make it look kind of realistic as well, even though it might not be the best. But uh, that's just kind of the way that I think about it with this game and games overall. And as you can see, this is my house where I want to have three beds, one bed is not placed for some reason. I don't know if you can actually like change or remove this. I don't really dare to do it for the moment because the game is throwing so many errors for me for trying to remove things and I just not into it so. And that's the reason why I do not go in like load a game when I'm inside a game because if I do I will get a nasty crash error. I don't know if it's like common for everyone but I have been receiving it all the time when playing with the client through the Steam. And this is the non-Steam Optim version, so this is the so-called more tested alpha version. So I try to avoid that. We can speed up the game a little bit so they can get a little bit further on this. But we are progressing pretty fast. And I will soon be gone for about uh, one week. So from about the 19th of December I will be away until like about 27th of December, so there's not going to be any episodes between that time, so when I get back I'm going to try to get up and put up at least one, two episodes before New Year's Eve and it might make another special episodes like I kind of do every year, like go back what, what has happened to the channel, what has been going on and things like that. So I'm going to see what I can put together with that, so things going to be pretty interesting. So if you want to see that you should definitely go and check that out after New Year's Eve, so I don't think it's gonna be posted on New Year, but the, maybe the day after, pretty early on. Depending on where you live, of course, so... <laughs> okay, so the center's achieved farm level 2, and it only gives more health, but it's pretty good. And one thing I've been thinking about is that we haven't been invaded yet, which is kind of scary, because that often means that the goblins are like... spawning up and no one is moving. Making it really dangerous because if, if we would like trigger them We might get like 30 goblins at us and we don't want to get that We have no footman so we have no powerful defense at all. We only have like workers and different professions doing the work And they can be alerted to fight, but they are not close as good as a footman Okay, we have a weaver level 2 Collaborative Insight. The Weaver is now skillful enough to use the materials created by other crafters. So that's good, Logan. And where is Felix? Where do you have him? Felix Masterson, what's your level? Let's check it out. Level 3 Carpenter. I really like this part about the unexpected ways when you're crafting thing. I think that's a really fun thing. A really good addition to the game. One thing that will be really interesting is if they are gonna add like um, weather to the game, snow, rain, wind, such stuff, that would be really awesome. I know it's not like something that should be in focus now because that's more like a polish to the game to make the game a little bit better, but uh, that would be pretty awesome. But this thing that they changed with the floor so it actually goes down and ground, I think this looks so much better with the doors, so much better. Okay, we have enough wood, I think, but we maybe should get a little bit more wood. I just don't l like to really send away too many people during the night time, because that's kind of the common time. It seems like the goblins try to invade you, but I don't know. Where are the goblins? I don't know. They're not here at least, so that's pretty good. So I hope that in the future they're gonna make a lot better with the survival mode. I don't really think they focus much on survival mode. I think they're just trying to like get a game with new features, making things stable here and there. And I guess the survival part, that's a thing that's gonna be more when the game gets like maybe into beta or something like that. I mean, the game is still in alpha, so alpha is really early works with the game. Maybe we should go through what we're we crafting here. Maybe we should maintain... let's maintain... let's try to maintain two comfy beds. It's gonna take a lot of time to make them, but we can at least put them there. 
and maybe we should grow some flowers. So, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's add, add up another... Where is it again? Another farm. Where are we going to grow some flowers? Don't have to be that big. So I think we're going to go for... Let's go for the blue flowers. What are they named? Something, I don't know. They are named something. Blue flowers. Blueberry flowers. No, I think they are named something different because we can craft them inside here. Frost snap winner box. So we're going to grow some frost snaps. So that's going to be good. And how do it look with our town? Overall, happiness 6.4. Pretty good. Food is great. Shelter is getting better. So that's really nice. And... Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure that I had two beds in here. Where did the other bed go? Did they take that bed and move it here? Is that what happened here as well? Uh, I don't know. It is something strange in this patch with the beds. I'm almost 100% sure that I did have a bed on that side. But it's not there. And I checked my first video and it seems like I had three beds here before as well. So I don't know what's going on with the beds. I don't know. Something really weird going on. I don't know if you guys have experienced this bug or whatever it is. Pretty strange things. So Raven, our trapper, has uh, gained level 2 and is now able to charm pets. The trapper will occasionally choose to turn a particular fine animal into a pet. But those things are really interesting as well. They're making um, it a lot more interesting with your people so they will actually get le levels and they get the different abilities. Which you do keep, even if we would switch profession for our people, they would still keep them. If you want to go back and have a great uh, trapper again, even though the trap has been a normal work for some time. That house, it is almost done. Do we have any... Oh, we have two curtains. So what I'm thinking is that uh, when we're doing a house, I don't know what's gonna happen now. And we might screw something up, I don't know. I think if we go inside here, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen if I... Okay, those windows are actually too high, so there should be one lower. But it is what it is for the moment. Okay, so we got no error for that, so it seems to... Things should work. Hopefully it's gonna work, because they haven't put it on window frames yet, so they have to put window frames, and we also have to get the curtains. Where did he go? Hmm. <laughs> there are so many bugs in this version. They came with food, and it went inside the tables and disappeared into the secret world. <laughs> hmm. It might be when you put chairs like this, when you put them to closed objects. Hmm. Yeah, it's really strange. It basically went inside them, so. But we have some curtains, let's look pretty good. The only bad part is that these windows are definitely too high up. I just think it's confusing nowadays when you're placing the window frames because. The floor looks different, so you think you're too high, but you're actually, like, I mean, you maybe think that you're, like, too low down, so you go one step above, and then you say, okay, that's not good. So, I think in the future, I'm gonna place the roof before the window frames, because that way, I should, like, kind of see how it should be. And why are they not putting any window frames? There are really so many bugs in this version, so... It is alpha, but uh, it is more unstable than it was in alpha 5 with a lot of things, I would say. But uh, I really hope that they're going to release a new, better, more stable, more fixed version very soon. But they're doing a pretty good job. They're updating this game pretty frequently, but uh, we will see. But guys, this is going to be it for today with Stoneheart. And I hope all of you guys are going to have a great, great Christmas if you're not going to see me before I get back after Christmas. So... Guys, thank you for watching Stoneheart with me, Panto. Hope you had a good time. Take care.